Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on the next episode of Fort Prairie and Alberta Theme City. Welcome back to the channel where last episode we built a dam. Yeah, something that, uh, you know, was really a unique build. We dammed up the, uh, the river here and we built like a bit of a reservoir. Now I have made some changes to it because I've been working a little bit off camera here just to try to level some things out, make sure the water levels aren't going crazy. And I've done a few changes to the reservoir area. I'm just going to show you what's up and um, tell you what the plan is for that. Uh, but in today's episode, we're going to be building um, a bit of a transitional medium density district. Um, it's going to be a pretty unique uh, area, kind of around the train yards of the central station here. And we'll also be doing some interesting road network connections. Um, and uh, then in tomorrow's episode, we're going to be diving back into kind of the area of the rapid bus network so it's you know it's kind of becoming a trend where on fridays we kind of work on the bus network the rapid bus network and i'm going to look to try to connect up new lines to the rapid bus network and we'll work on uh kind of where the stations are going to be and we're going to revise pretty much that middle section between the highway and the uh downtown station so without further ado let's hop out and take a look at what the plan is going to be for today so yeah, today what we're going to do is we are going to be um, building up in this area, I think, particularly in this zone. And then I want to try to connect up something in here. Maybe look at starting up River uh, Arrow River Point Park. And um, yeah, so this is kind of the plan for today. And then what did we do last time in case you missed it? Is we built up a dam over here. We also connected up um, this highway interchange with what's going to be a future town over here future forestry industry and uh, yeah so let's talk about what happens so the dam is flowing and it's working it's been consistent 48 megawatts it kind of fluctuates between 80 and 32 so that's okay um, it just kind of makes us realize that you know we probably are gonna play with the idea that 32 is the output so when I'm planning for future power consumption we're gonna have to do that and if we make 80 megawatts then you know we make 80 megawatts and that's great uh, but uh, yeah it is flowing very nicely the rivers all filled back up again Oh, looks like uh, it's flowing too good I tried to plant some trees on these islands doesn't look like they survived um, yeah so we'll connect up uh, this road here with Hanover Heights at some point um, and here's kind of the rough area where done is gonna be but um, yeah you know I think it turned out pretty nicely it's flowing pretty decently and if we look at the water it's all flowing towards the dam now and the arrows are large which means it's fast uh, water so that's good seems to be doing okay and it's exiting out of the dam with larger arrows as well so what I've done here is if you remember last time we had this go all the way down into here now, I was thinking about it a bit more. Now, I haven't seen your comments from last episode, so maybe some of you were thinking this too. If this is supposed to be a reservoir, why do we have it going down here? And there were rapids along the whole section, so it didn't really make sense. This is a reservoir. So what I did was I put another dam here, um, and the water's still dissipating and stuff like that, and I turned it off. It does actually work as a dam, so we can change it in the future. Should uh, you know we say the water level is getting a bit too high, we need to turn on the dam. And I think that kind of plays with the theme as well. So this is technically a, still a secondary reservoir. So maybe in the spring, they turn on the dam to control the water flow of the reservoir. And I've put this back in. I tried the dam out over here as well. Didn't really work out. So the water's still kind of dissipating because it, it, I've only recently done this. Um, but we have like a secondary catch basin as well. So I'm thinking of turning this area into a bit of like a nature reserve walking trail. I think it makes sense. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it could be a really cool build to turn this whole area into a nature reserve. But the reservoir here is holding up really nicely. I put a industrial road along here. I thought it looked a little bit nicer. And I've also um, changed the road to country road. All the all of these roads are country roads now. But if we go look at the uh, the water from here, uh, there's a water source right here which is holding the water at the exact level we need it to be at. And there's only small arrows flowing down here. So I've been really working on how the um, uh, the water levels through here. And this is what I've settled on. It seems to work fine. Here are our water sources. 
So this one is pretty much just blocking any water coming in from this side. And it's actually higher than this one and this one. So what it's doing is it's, it's actually just forcing the water towards the dam, which is fine. It doesn't really look right with the rapids. So I'm going to try to fix that, but it's also working now. So I'll still be tweaking this off camera and stuff like that. And this one is trying to hold the water level at the height that we need it for the reservoir. And then this one is maintaining the height we need for this side of the reservoir. But otherwise, that's uh, that's all I've done. Um, ha done. Uh, let's just swing back all the way over into here. And let's talk about what the plan is for this. So I'm thinking we have like a good mixed density or uh, sorry, mixed demand. We have residential demand, we have commercial demand, and we have industrial demand. So we can pretty much do anything with what we got going on. So what I'm thinking about doing is we really need a high school. So if we look at our high school demands, there's no high school all the way down in here. So I'm going to make an urban high school in this area right in here, I think. Yeah, probably over here. And we'll build up some residential over here. Uh, along the highway, some low value residential, and we'll connect it up with uh, this road here. We'll bring it underneath the highway here, we'll bring it underneath the rail tracks over on this side. We'll connect it up like that. I think that'll be a good thoroughfare. We also, we're also going to get um, the last metro station. The last underground metro station of our current plan is going to be right in here, and it's going to be the bypass metro station in case we need to bypass this stop in the future. I think it's just best to plan that out because, you know, theoretically, if we're going to have like an express line from Hanover Heights, it would probably stop at Hanover Heights, skip a stop, go to University Station, skip this stop, then go down to the downtown station. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And I think the first connection we're going to make is connecting this roundabout, bypassing it, bring it right across the top of this, connecting it up with here, curving underneath the railroad, the railroad here and then connecting it up into here. Now at that connection itself is going to be pretty good because um, one, it's going to allow us to have an access point into Arrow River Point, at least one uh, one stop over here because we can get another entrance over here, for example. Uh, it's going to allow us to kind of access this zone in here. It's going to connect up this side, especially even the university with this part of the downtown as well. So I think it's going to be a pretty good connection point. So. Uh, let's start with that and we're just going to start off with the basic road and we'll see what the demand is like for this road and if we need to change it so let's actually look at the topography here what are we dealing with because this is probably going to be rather steep and it looks like it is but we need to get up to this height so i think the first point we're going to need to make is building this road right across the top here so i think the first good suggestion i would have is in this situation is to turn off any guidelines and just kind of eyeball the middle because there's going to be so many guidelines through the middle. Oh, look here. I could do this, but we're connecting up underground, actually. So I think Oh, we're just a little bit off here. Let's click home. Oh, one more try, one more try. That's pretty good. I like that. It looks like the, uh, the grid markers are looking like they're pretty similar. So I'm actually just going to tweak it a little bit just make sure we're just grabbing this road Graham Street and uh, let's connect up so what I can do here is pretty much just just use the network multi tools and I could do create connection to go from here to here and that's pretty good I mean that's a pretty smooth connection we could also kind of tweak it a little bit to make it a bit wider which I think we might need to do with the fact that this is on a slope Yeah, it's probably good right there. So we'll punch that in and it looks like it's already probably graded and that's pretty good. But why don't we take a quick peek at what that grade is. And I think if I just move this over slightly closer like that, then I can grab this one and we can bring it all the way up to here. So yeah, we're at a 4.8. So if I click this in, we're going to just lower it a bit closer to a four. So oh, 4.6. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I don't see this being a trucking route, so I'm pretty comfortable leaving uh, this the way it is. Nice. 
And then the next point we're going to try to make is a connection right in here. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that we have a 90 degree angle with, or sorry, we're straight off from this road. That's what I want. So let's click it out. Let's go eight units out. That works pretty good with me. And what we'll do is we'll do the same thing. So network multi-tool, uh, create connection. Where's this one? Here to here, here to here. All right. So I don't like that. So there we go. We click that out. Try to bring it out this way. Let's see if we can sink this one down a little bit. We could just even go with a perfect kind of zero degree straight out and then a curve in. I think that works pretty good because if we leave this here, what we could do is we could make like a connection right in here and we could have the, um, the parking lot for Arrow River Point Park right through here. Or maybe we can branch off this road and we can, can connect it up to this one, for example, or something like that. Though I don't really think that's going to be necessary. Um, or maybe right in here. Maybe right in here we can bring it out and in or something like that. I think this kind of gives us a good couple options here. So let's click that in. Oh, never mind. There's a big, uh, big cliff there. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, let's do that slope now. And now I do think it actually keeps the slope. Perfect. Yeah, so it's 0.7. So what I'm actually going to do here is change things up. So I don't want to have such a large cut. So I'm going to just grab move it here. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to go into here, just grab nodes. And we're going to grab these three nodes. And I'm going to say go to terrain height. Because that's a bit more appropriate here. So. Uh, now if we go back to our topography line, yeah, it's pretty steep. We're coming in on a pretty good angle here. So let's grab this one. We're just going to lower it until we get a bit more of a, a more gentle connection point in here. And then what I'll do is we'll go into network multi tools and then from here to here, let's just get a nicer slope. 8.1. Okay. It might go all the way down to here. 4.3. That cut is a lot nicer. And then let's do a slope from here to here 3.6 very good okay so let's start again let's go from over here oh you know what let's just follow this car let's see how this slope looks yeah I don't mind this cut over here that looks pretty good it looks perfect for a park I think this uh, has some really nice park park vibes to it and then we come flat on top of this and then we start rising up a little bit. Oh, what are you up to? Guy just parked his Corvette. What was Charles Walker doing there? All right, yeah, pretty gradual slope upwards. I like how it's looking on the sides of the park here. And then we hit its precipice and we're curving slowly down to Oh, a nice view to here. Fantastic. What a great connection point. All right. Now, hopefully that road doesn't get like too crazy or anything like that. I don't think it will. Um, but let's just do some smoothing work over here. Just eliminate some of the rough kind of outlines. Yeah, it's just, you know, quick little glance over here. And I'm going to leave the cliff here because I think it'd be really cool to to leave. Now, if we were to develop any part of this area, it would probably be this part uh, part, and this part as well, like on this side of uh, Airport Parkway or Island Parkway at the moment. And yeah, I think this turned out pretty nicely. Okay, so very nice. We got that connection in place. And then now let's connect up right through here. Now, I also think we're going to get to connect up this road eventually. And uh, you know what? Why don't we do that right now? Because we're I was just talking about how this side looks. And we can connect it up. Oh, you know what? I do really like it just kind of on its own. And that's pretty steep. So why don't we try to get that connection like right here or something then? Bring it down to about here. And then what we can do is just have a nice clean curve. 
just like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick little sloping work on this uh, on this side. So we'll go into network multi tool. So that's still still good. Because sometimes it changes. Um, yeah, sometimes it changes up after you kind of make a connection. Just kind of re jiggle some things around. Okay, there we go. Let's make this connection, the slope down to here. 1.2, very nice. Okay, so then now we'll just come back really quickly with the smoothing tool and we'll just smooth this all out, especially right in here. I think this will make it a little bit nicer for our pathway or something like that if this is a bit smoother. And then right through here, actually I think right through here we could actually keep it at a bit more of a sharper connection. Alrighty. And there we go. So I think what, what we've allowed ourselves to, to build right here is a nice zonable land for some high value uh, condos or something like that. Especially right along the river here. Maybe student housing as well. Especially right in here. This is uh, some prime real estate. Alright. And maybe we can build like a cul-de-sac into here or something like that where we can uh, get some uh, some action happening. So let's bring this out to about here. Oh, let's check topography really quickly. Topography. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'll bring it out 11 units. No, let's go 10 units. And then I can bring this right down into here. Perfect. Okay, I like how that works out. We can get some nice walking path connections through here. Let's go bring this all the way through. Just like that. Fantastic. Now, I, this connection is a little sharp, so I'm just going to try and clean it up a little bit. There we go. Oh, no. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so we'll leave this be for now, and we can develop this up when we do some student housing and stuff like that. Oh, there's too good of an opportunity to build a street uh, right from here. Yeah, that's too perfect. All right. So, uh, you know, if you missed Sunday's episode, yes, Sunday, there was an episode on my channel that came up for our new multiplayer collaboration series with Skyline 6. Make sure to check that out. Uh, very awesome. Really enjoyed building that. And um, actually, uh, it's actually, I have the save file at the moment, so it's actually my turn again. Um, but uh, you probably won't see that until September. So, you know, we built it, oh, sorry, we built it pretty, uh, pretty far in advance here. Okay, so um, let's make this connection now. So we need to go under the highway. So I think the first things, first things first is we're right on a node here. Uh, this is connecting right up against the node. That is not going to be very nice for the um, uh, for elevating this portion because I don't wanna, really want to make it a tunnel. I want to make it elevated. That'll save us some room as well. So let's uh, let's just grab move it here and let's grab both of these nodes. We're just going to shift it up a little bit to about here. And then we're going to grab these, this one. I'm just going to realign this to about here. Oh, oh, it was right down here. And this one is going to need to be all the way up in here. Okay, so hopefully this is a bit nicer. So let's grab this and let's just click elevated. Let's, uh, let's remain paused while we're doing this. Okay, there we go. We're elevated. Doesn't really change what it looks like on this side. But it will definitely help out what it looks like over here. So let's lower this portion right into there. Let's grab the road here. And let's build another connection out right to here. It's about the same distance in between. And let's take a look about how this looks. Okay, so there's a bit of glitching right here. So let's just uh, move this over ever so slightly more. To about there. And then we'll just realign these ones. Grab segments. I think this is gonna 
help clean this up a little bit nicer too. All right, let's zoom down. Any glitching? No, nope, we're good. Okay, fantastic. Now let's grab uh, these nodes. I was already on move it. Come on, let's grab these two. And I think we can go a bit higher than this. So let's, oops, let's undo, grab both of them. I think we can go even closer to this. Now, the lamp post is gonna stick out on both sides. So maybe what we do is we just go right until we can, uh, until we can't see them. Now, did that really even change much though? No, okay, so let's try another method. So let's bring it up to the height that we were thinking about before. I think it's a bit lower than that. That's pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this node. We're just gonna scooch this out just so that the lamp posts are not in the concrete, but it looks like we just moved that one back in. There we go. All right, fantastic. So that is a, a good appropriate height. Let's slope this up to at least this node. Let's move this node a bit closer. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another node right here. And now we're gonna slope this from here to here. 2.9%. I think that's fine. I, I bet delivery trucks and stuff can get through there at least. Very good. All right, now we need to figure out how we're gonna get underneath the highway here. So I think the next step would be is to try to plan out where this is gonna go. And I think we can place it right about here. So let's take a look at how this is gonna look. So I was thinking, should I get it on this side of the road? Should I get it on this side of the road? Uh, I think this side of the road is probably more, more realistic, but it fits so nicely right in here. We can make a really cool uh, design right through here with, uh, with everything. Uh, Cause this isn't exactly the most friendly land to build on either. But maybe what we can do is we can bring in like an access road around the side so that we can flip around the, uh, the station. So let's place it right here. I think that's going to be fine. Let's keep the game paused. Let's click that in. Oh, you know what? Let's actually uh, quickly change a few things around because I want to keep it at the same level as the roundabout right here. So I want to make sure that we're actually at that height of the roundabout. Whatever that height is. Okay. Fantastic. Just level this all out, just momentarily at least. And then this one, we're going to go, go to terrain height. Fantastic. Okay, so now we can place this down again place it right there let's just leave it for now and we'll hook it up sorry let's just leave uh, you know building up building it up for now and let's hook this up so we need to go into the metro metro tunnels and yeah this is the last one that we're gonna be doing underground for a pretty good amount of time here because this is uh, we're still in stage one of our grand transit plan stage one of three and we'll definitely look at what stage two is going to look like, uh, you know, fairly soon, I think. Okay, so we might need to change this up a little bit. So what if we go out like that, and then we curve this in? That's a pretty gradual turn. And then what we can do is we can bring this one out about halfway. Connect up like that. And then I'll just realign this. Okay, yeah, I think that's a fairly decent tunnel. This one is fairly sharply curved, but I think it follows a good right of way. All right. Yeah, you know, I don't mind this 
Lots of metro tunnels are curved in real life. And then this is definitely going to have to remain fairly straight. Okay, so now, especially since that's not an end station either, it's going to be really easy just to uh, grab drag line to add stop, add stop, drag line to add stop. There we go. So now we have another stop in play here. And, uh, you know, I probably shouldn't have connected those up because I think I still want to flip this around. <laughs> Darn. Just wasted some time. Okay, so uh, let's let's do that. Uh, okay, so let's uh, go home to re-elevate the road. Go right here. Let's turn off our guidelines so that we can get a nice clean connection. Right there. This is exactly where I need it. Bring this out right to about here. Bring this over. Okay, so let's uh, let's scrap that really quickly. Sorry about that. Uh, click this in. Tunnel. Delete. Let's delete these two little connection points, and then let's flip this around. Alrighty, let's rejig this back into position. Right about there. We could actually leave some space for those trees, though. But it looks like they're already on the pavement, so I think we'll just connect it up to a like a really clean number right there, really clean degree. Bring this over so we have a nice connection point. Then we have a nice option here for some concrete classic cities by Stephen Fort Prairie maneuver. All right, and then let's just connect up like that. And then we'll just connect up like that. Okay, and then let's grab the station here. Let's see if it'll figure it out on its own. Like it's bypassing it there we go okay fantastic okay that's a really clean curve in this one is a bit slower but it would definitely be going slower anyways because it's starting to rise up out of the ground so I definitely don't mind that and that's a good distance between the university and uh, this area and then over here it's a bit it's a bit close but uh, you know we're getting downtown now right so um, this is going to be now a park. So let's just draw this in. I don't know where the limits are going to be of this park. But it'll also help the land value out a little bit. So I'm going to try and actually make this park. Even just having this around is going to be beneficial. And I think we could probably actually bring it into this area as well. I don't see us building in there. I do see us potentially building in here and then well here's Arrow River Point Park so I think we can find those limits now and we can bring this all the way through this one can come all the way down now and we can fill it up here's Arrow River Point Park which is probably gonna be a build upcoming relatively soon I definitely like to, to get the city park and it's gonna definitely raise the land value of everything around it as well so all right so Daffodil Hill is uh, gonna be called Arrow River Point Station and we can make this a park uh, later on if we have time today if not then uh, we won't worry about it. Clean that up. All right, now we have our limits here. Let's go back and what we'll do here is just uh, clean up the slope. Fantastic. Now right in here, 
I can see us getting one of the park life assets or something like that, so I'm not going to worry about that right now, but this road's definitely going to need to be a larger road, so let's grab this one. And we're going to upgrade this road like that. There we go. And then we can go back down to our smaller, just normal, normal, basic road. Let's check out the topography here. Let's see what we're going to have to do. So we're going to really... Oh, you know what? We could go over the rail line here. We're already at a really decent height. I like that idea. Let's do that. Okay. So we have a couple options. How are we going to do this? We could... Pretty much just go straight from this corner here at a perfect 135 degree angle. If we just leave everything off but angle here. We could do that. And then what we'll do is we'll then bring it down to the ground. Like we'll curve this way and swoop in. I think that'll probably work out best. So uh, let's bring it out to about here. Let's make sure we're at exactly 135 degrees right there oh click it in fantastic and this intersection is going to be a little bit bigger than it currently is so let's just switch some things up let's square off the node let's bring this back a touch let's bring this one back a touch and this one as well i think we can open up this side a little bit for some nicer connections let's actually uh bring this back a little bit let's bring this back further let's make the whole node a little bit larger and then now with this one pushed back this is a bit cleaner we can keep it a bit straighter okay perfect so there we go um now let's elevate upgrade grab this road and we're gonna need to elevate this side and i'm just going to Pull this back to about here, and this one we're going to pull back to about here. Set it to the same height, grab both nodes, and then elevate it just up until the top of these lines here. Now what we could do actually is look at our different rail lines available to us, which I believe... Isn't there a high speed rail line? Um, where would that be? Ah! High speed rail viaduct. European rail bridge. Does this have a ground portion? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> Um, I think that's pretty good for the height. Maybe we can go a bit lower. That's good. Right there. That, that's really good. And we definitely need to bring this section elevated almost the entire way, I would assume. Oh, elevated. It's probably almost worth just doing it elevated for the entire way anyways. And then we'll slope it from here to here. Wow, look at that grade. That's amazing. All right. And then we can get uh, the residential off of this node or something. And we could even get some pedestrian connections down uh, down here. So let's, uh, let's try to plan that out really quickly. So let's grab the height right here. Just lower it down to about there. Just like that. And then that'll give us the opportunity to get pedestrian connections around here so then we'll just smooth out these corners oops yeah I think that'll work okay now we're gonna connect this up now this is gonna be the tricky part because what I could do is we could we could basically just bring it so we curve slowly and then slowly down and it's just one road now do we want to make it one road or do we want to make it two roads because we could bring this one down or we could bring it over here we could loop it or something like that we could yeah there's a lot we can do i think the best bet because of the height challenges is probably going to be to make it two roads but 
I want to try doing it with one road. So what we're going to do first is do a create connection. We'll go from here to here. And let's see how far we can swing this out. So I'm going to try to keep it at a level like equivalence to, to how this is going to work. Now I haven't actually looked into upgrading this train station with uh, with anything. And we actually also don't aren't really getting inner city trains uh, at the moment. But that's a whole other problem, which I'll look into. All right, so I think maybe if we do something like this. How do you how do we think this is going to look? So we're curving down here. This will be a bit more elevated than it is. And then we're really dropping. Hmm. I almost feel like we need to bring it farther out, you know? Okay, not like that. Maybe if we curve it... Uh, you know what? Let's, let's try it out. Sorry. Sorry about this. Let's try it out. So we'll go again from here to here. And we'll just redo that connection. Although we could get it something like this, you know? Like that's almost like two full loops, and this gives us lots of opportunities to connect up. But it might be too much, you know? Okay, let's bring this back to about 60 meters. There we go, let's see if we can bring this one up to 60 and how that's gonna look. Now it's just gonna snap. Let's bring this one down again. Let's bring this one forward back to about 60. Uh, okay, well, let's just click it in and we'll see what it's going to look like. Because let's check out the slope. Because if it's too much, then we're just not going to be able to do it. So we'll go here, slope from here down to here. It's 5.8. It's definitely doable, but look at the cut we're doing. Not a fan of that. So let's definitely delete this. Let's try it again. Okay, so how can we emerge out of here? Well, we can. What we can do is we can pretty much just come straight up into here, and you know maybe get some nice connection up into the side of the, uh, the rail yard. Which, yeah, it has inner city trains, but I haven't seen any. Maybe this was the line that I shouldn't have deleted. <laughs> I don't know. I might need to reset the object or something. Um, so yeah, let's let's do that first. So let's bring this up to what we need it to be. We can kind of dead end it right here. And we can bring it across, down, over to this side. Let's go, no parking though. Just like that. Bring it right out so people can walk across and then we can get a road down. Just like that, and then people can actually uh, connect up here too, which is nice. This can be a little parkette of some sort. Okay, that works out. That works out pretty nicely, actually. Um, so now, what if we try and connect it up right in here, or we can try that loop. Kind of look funny having a, like a secondary loop, you know? Hmm. Yeah, let's try that out. Because I still want to get building for today's episode. Okay, here we go. And let's uh, let's do this with the network multi-tool. We've been using the network multi-tool a bunch now. So let's do that from here to here. From that node to this node. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, let's do create curve. Let's see if that one's going to be the one that does it. Nope. Uh, create connection then is our, is our best bet. Here to here. Because this one we can manipulate a little bit better. We could do something like that. I don't mind that at all. I think 
maybe if we bring this one out a little bit more like that. I think maybe we have a ground level connection here too, which would be nice. Let's do that. Let's see how this works. Yeah, I think I can manipulate this one a little bit better than uh, what it has. So let's, now that we've seen that, I think it's going to work pretty good here. So let's, uh, let's do that. So let's start here. We'll keep the road that we have. We'll go ground level. Ground level, please. No, it's snapping. There we go. And let's uh, go out to about this height. And I think maybe we can bring it out to about here. Or should it be a curb? No. Yes. Let's, let's do this. That's perfect. Okay. So then if we now bring it out to about here. Hmm. Let's, let's try this again. And we're just going to do a temporary road from here all the way over. Because I would love it if we could line up these grids, actually. So that's where I want that road. We'll delete this. We'll delete that connection. Do a nice clean curve, like so. In like that. It's pretty smooth. And then let's just back up this node. Then what we can do is we can bring it elevated here. Uh, like, like, uh, I think that's gonna be our best bet. And then we'll just do a quick little connect, uh, create connection. Create loop. <laughs> I, I'm trying to use the network multi tool as much as I can today. Uh, okay, perfect. But this section definitely shouldn't be elevated, so let's uh, redo that. Alright, and now we can uh, slope this as much as we can. So we need to slope from here down to about here. 4.5. Uh, let's see how this works. 2.4. And we're a little bit too high. So I think ideally then we need to grab this node and move it. And put it down to the height of the ground. And unfortunately, that's going to be probably our maximum. So let's redo that slope from here then. And we'll go all the way back to this rail crossing. 4.6. I think it's going to have to be have to do. Um, that curve is pretty good. This isn't a fast road at all. And then we'll go from here all the way down to here. Fantastic. Yeah, I think this is going to work out. Let's just try and swing this out as far as we can. All right, and then now we have lots of access points into here. Now I was hoping to get the high school on this side, but I don't think we're, we're going to be able to. This is definitely not high school appropriate land. So maybe that high school needs to be somewhere else. So we really need a high school downtown, um, especially on, down in here. So maybe it has to be over in this section right in here. It's going to be very strange for having a high school there. But maybe we could make a little a bit of a tight one right, right in here, though. It might work out. Let's check the uh, topography. And if that's the height we need it at, then I think we'll have to kind of do... Because what if we just try and level this out a little bit to that height? So that could be too weird. Yeah, I think let's maybe undo that and we'll remain at this height that we previously had it at, which is the height of the rail line, it looks like, or almost. Okay, that's gonna be fine for me. All 
All right, and then we have this trench, which works. And we can definitely get like a pedestrian connection across here. But holy cow, I guess I don't have enough time. Um, oh, there's a funky node. We got Valley Street. I think I read Valley Bridge. I guess that, that works. Um, all right, so let's do that. That should work. We've got this up here now. Yeah, let's, let's make this high school. I think that's going to be a really good first step. Um, and maybe we can start getting some zoning as well. And we'll save this station at this side uh, for some detailing later on. And we'll focus kind of on this little section right in here. So, whoa, where are we? <laughs> so, uh, Arrow River Point Station. Let's get a couple roads through here for some high density zoning. So, uh, first of all, obviously, there's going to be no zoning on this road because this is basically a highway. And let's grab the road we had. And we'll come out here at a very good angle like that. And then we'll kind of just go right along the, the ridge line. Like so. And I hope that this is going to be fine for any, you know, potential glitchiness that's happening. Uh, then let's grab all these nodes. Let's set it to the same height as that. And that kind of works. And then we'll just have to re-level this part out to about here. Get some pedestrian connections down in there. Let's see how that could work. So I don't really mind that being sloped. And then I think we can kind of cul-de-sac that if we get another road connection right in here. Yeah, so I'm thinking, is it worth trying to get a road through here or not? Because if we do that, then we have easier access onto this side again. And that could be good. Why don't we do that? I think that's going to be a little bit more realistic, especially if we do an industry road right through here. So just something like this, and then we can bring that connection up right through there. And this guy can continue a little bit farther. And then maybe we can connect it somehow up to this main road. But yeah, I think, I think so. I think that's going to be very appropriate. And let's go from about here, bring it down. Oops. Like so. And then we can get some more uh, road connections through here. Especially right through here because this is going to be uh, like a key position. Because of the industrial road, we need to make sure that that's split off appropriately. Maybe if we just turn off node snapping, we can get a nice, simple connection just like that. Okay, I'm actually going to redo this section right in here. Because I do think that this is nice to have, but I want it to be like there. And then we can get a nice, clean, straight road like that. And then we can, whoops, I guess node snapping was turned off, Steven. Come on. Do something like this. It's a little bit cleaner, except for this extra node here. Okay. Well, I think we need to slope this node. And then this one also needs to be sloped. I think that's a little bit better. It's a nice curve to it as well. that one okay fantastic and then this can just sneak up right through here let's get it to a higher height let's get it to the same height as that and then uh, let's just bring that uh, right there and then there's a nice simple connection for people to walk through we can zone up this land 
Uh, this note here, though, is definitely going to need to be a bit larger. So let's square it off. And then let's bring it to about 15 meters. I think that's definitely better. All right. So I think, I think this is going to work out. We've got this, and then we're going to have our high school over on this side. But fortunately, I don't think I'll be able to do this in today's episode. So let's bring it down to about here. And then we'll bring this one over. Like that. We'll bring this side over. I think we can get majority of everything we need on this side. Well, let's try to fit this in, into today's episode. So we're going to have a bit more of an urban high school kind of feel to it. So I'm not going to try and rush it though. So let's... Uh, what am I doing? Holy cow. Uh, so we're going to use this one because this is the urban high school and we're going to set this like in my opinion I don't know if I want to set this right off of the entrance here. I almost want to do it off-centered Looks like it's been like an industrial building that they renovated into a high school So I think that kind of feel works out pretty nicely uh, While we're doing this though, let's zone in high density in here not the biggest fan of the zoning, but I think I think I'll just live with it to be honest with you. Uh, let's bring this one right through here. Okay, let's uh, do some zoning work here. Uh, prioritize newer roads. And I guess we can get some mixed uh, mixed zoning through here at least. Okay, so we'll let this come in, then we'll take a look at it. Oh, <laughs> forgot water. What's new, right? Gosh. Bring this down over here. Let's bring this all the way down to connect up. Bring this down, and we're gonna need some water down on this side as well. All right, so we got the high school in. That should work out. I think we can get parking along this side. So let's grab the elevated. Oh no, the elevated. And let's just try to elevate this section out so that it's underneath the bridge where the transition is. And we'll keep this elevated so that we can get a uh, uh, like a fence and everything like that around it. All right, so parking along this side, I think right through here, it can be probably just trees, to be honest with you. And then we'll get a fence in, fence in and stuff like that. Uh, but let's see, check around the back here. There's nothing too urgent, but we definitely need pathways and stuff like that. So let's go with uh, just the basic park path. And let's turn off node snapping and our guidelines. Actually, let's leave node snapping on. And let's go from about here. It up. I'll just rejig some things. Okay, there we go. It's pretty good. And let's try to fit in some sports stadiums really quickly. Um, like our sports, uh, for sports fields. And I think basketball is gonna be the way to go for this, uh, for this one. So let's go with this court. Right there. Yeah, I think we can get that one to work. And then let's go with our a hockey rink on this side. Okay, very cool. And then I'll leave some open field as well. So uh, this road here is more... Hmm, maybe we can get some parking on this side instead of trees. 
Uh, but let's get a fence around it, and then I'll, we'll kind of call, we'll kind of call it a day because I've run out of time for today's episode. So let's go with uh, the park fence, I guess. No reason why not. And we'll just go right through here. Bring it right down to there. Kind of try and go straight as much as we can. Bring this one down to here. And let's actually change this side to uh, a zoo fence. Because the zoo fence kind of looks like a, um, a sound barrier as well. Bring this right down. Let's bring it right to here. Okay, then we'll get the park fence to connect up just like that. All right, yeah, I think we can get this one to work out. So let's just jiggle the basketball court a little bit. We turn it around like this. No, it has to be this way. Okay, I think that works. We can get a bit of concrete right through here. Do this though like it really needs to be concrete right in here okay, I think we I think we can live with that um, okay well you know uh, we definitely ran out of time today folks sorry about that uh, but yeah I'm thinking just parking right through here maybe on this side too and then we have enough open field here for people to uh, you know for students to still play and stuff like that I think it's a good use of the space I'll clean everything up um, and look at this we're getting some some good mixed zoning through here i really like these buildings for this zone i think this is going to be perfect so uh yeah well i'll let it uh, come in and i'll rejig some things i'll make some things um you know historical and stuff like that but i hope you liked today's episode folks we'll get a nice little shot of the area right through here and there we go i hope you have a wonderful day i'll talk to you on friday's episode Peace out.